welcome to engineering drawing here we are going to discuss next problem on the isometric projection of combination of solids the problem is given like this a cone of base diameter 40 mm and axis 80 mm is mounted centrally on the top of the cube of 60 mm side draw the isometric projections of the combination of solids so coming into the demonstration we have the models this is the cube made of the 60 mm side this is actually the cone now i am going to place the cone on the top of this particular cube now we want to draw the isometric projection for this particular solid so first to draw the isometric projection of this cube right upon which you need to draw the isometric projection of the cone so here the isometric view how we are going to draw that is the problem we are going to discuss here so this is the main important thing you please make note here in this problem isometric projection is asked so all the problems in isometric view we can take full length whatever given same dimension is to be used for isometric projections we need to use the isometric length so how we draw the isometric length so i you draw the isometric scale first first draw the isometric scale for example you need to draw this horizontal line like this and you can divide into how many divisions so you can give the name as a and this is b we need maximum length is 60 mm right so you can divide this into 6 divisions right can divide into 6 divisions right 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 divisions now i am going to draw one 15 degree inclined line how much the 1 5 15 degree inclined line i am going to draw how much this angle 15 1 5 degree for getting isometric line and the we need to draw this line and right draw one from this b point you draw one 45 degree inclined one 45 degree inclined these points will be marked here the b point is i mark this is the six point right now we draw the parallel line to this b and b1 you can get the isometric length for the corresponding things we can get the isometric lengths for the corresponding dimensions so this is the way we need to get this is 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 1 again this is 6 this is i called as iso length isometric length isometric length you can measure this length for drawing this particular this is actually the true length this is actually the true length so this is i call this what isometric scale what is the name of this one i call this isometric scale so first you draw this isometric scale for this isometric projection first to draw this isometric scale now we coming into the problem first to draw the simple top view and the front view of this combination of solids for which you need to draw one x y reference line like this this is my x and y reference line now draw the cube the front view of the cube this is 60 mm side i need to draw this front view of this cube right what is the front view of this particular view i am going to draw right this is my view right corresponding this is the front view this is my front view of the view it will be seen as the square because it is a cube you need to draw as a square similarly corresponding top view i need to draw the projection from here right projection then i need to mark the top view of this particular 
okay right this is my top view this is my top view of the view for the same for game how much side is given the same side like this we take it for our four sides then we need to draw this square right we need to draw this square so this is my top view of this particular square now i am going to draw the top view of this particular cone i am going to draw the cone here right the top view of the cone will be seen as the circle we know that the top view of the cone will be seen as the circle so you can take the radius whatever the radius is given 40 mm x 20 mm radius we can take we can complete this now corresponding front view is i am going to corresponding front view this is the center point from this center point i need to mark here right this is my center point from the center point you can take the height of 8 mm right so you can mark here this is my point o dash means this is o right and draw the projection from this base diagonal base diagonal is we need to mark here these two points we need to mark on here now i need to join right i need to join this top point with this right so i place the cone on the top of this cube i get this particular front view as well as the top view this is the first step the second step first step you need to draw the isometric scale now take for example this is 60 mm dimension what is the this side is 60 mm means actually this is 60 means you can measure from a to b1 the 60 this inclined length you can take and we can uh, draw this for drawing this 40 mm so 20 mm corresponding to a to 2 1 you measure this inclined length it is considered for drawing this particular top similarly you need to take this 80 mm if if you want to get 80 mm means you can extend this is 7 point this is 8 point you need to draw the parallel line. so any dimensions you need to draw parallelly you can get this is the eighth one this is the seventh one, right now take this 8 mm uh, this inclined length for marking this top point for this particular cone so this is the way you draw the top view and front view of this combination of zone now we can go and draw how to consider this isometric view so you draw simply the one <coughs> reference line like this and you need to draw the 30 degree inclines to isometric axis from this particular point center point you need to draw one 30 degree line on the right side and another 30 degree line on the this left side both are 30 degree right both are 30 degree now we know this dimension is 60 mm base so from here a to the 61 that length is taken for both sides you need to mark here the we know the height height is uh, height of the solid is also same right you need to draw the height also from this particular point so it will come as here some cube will be seen as some um, we need to join right for the height and we know we need to draw the parallel line from this particular point right draw the parallel line right similarly parallel line to this we can get this bottom portion this left side directions then you need to draw another parallel line from here right you need to draw one parallel line and draw the parallel line from here this will be joint this will be so this is the way we need to draw the cube i drawn the cube in isometric right now i am going to draw this cone 
above this. So for which I need to have this square. We can enclose this circle, right? By square. Whatever we uh, discussed in the previous problem. So you need to enclose this circle by the square. Right? Now we know these dimensions. From here how much distance? So I need to uh, from this I know the distance. This distance also I know. So I need to mark uh, on parallel line. So you draw one square for it indicates the bottom base of this particular point. Right? You need to draw one and set one square. The enclosing square for this particular bottom base of the point. You need to draw this enclosing square. So I draw this. Here for which I am going to draw the circle in elliptical form. So I need to mark the center points because we are going to use the four center method. Already this corner is one center and this is another center. Now I need to join these points, opposite corner with the mid points, right? For getting another two center points, right? So this is the way we need to get the four points in the isometric. Sense. This is my third point. This is my fourth center point. Now take the compass from one. We need to join these two by curve, smooth curve, right? By compass, you need to join. Similarly, take two a center. Now we need to join by the curve, right? This is the curved portion. And take four a center. You need to join. I get this point this side. Take 3 a center we need to join. Right? This is the way we need to join the bottom base of this and we already marked the center point here. This is the center. We know the height. What may be the height? It height may be like this. 80 millimeter means you need to mark. This is my height means for example. We can keep, keep like this. Now this is now I am going to join this top point with the draw tangent line this ellipse. You get the point, right? You can take whatever the height it is given, you convert into isometric length. It is to be drawn like this, right? So we need to draw the tangent line with apex. The bottom portion fully is visible one side, right? One side will be fully visible. So this indicates the cone in isometry. This indicates the cone. So you can use the HB pencil for darkening this. Right? This cone. The remaining portion of this particular thing, cube, I need to draw by thick line. Right? Remaining portion, I need to draw by HB line. HB pencil, you can use and you need to complete like this, right? This is the bottom portion of my cube, right? Bottom portion of my cube, right? You need to draw by HB pencils, right? Here, up to this point only visible, here also this point only visible. So, this is for your reference, right? The remaining things is not visible. So this is the way we need to draw the combination of sum. Quick review, first draw the isometric scale because the question is asked isometric projections. We can use this scale, right? Whatever the maximum dimensions given, you need to mark here. Here you can use 45 degree inclination. Here is this. It is 15 degree inclination. Another angle is 45 degree inclinations. Now this isometric length is used for here constructing this square, right? So this is the cube, right? Front view of cube and the front view of the top view of cube. Then you draw the top view of cone and the front view of cone. Once you completed the simple projections, you need to come into the isometric projections for which you can draw the two thirty degree inclined line right? for marking this isometric axis. This is the isometric axis. Two isometric axis. This is the third isometric axis, right? It may be like this. 
So three asymmetric axes. This will be two thirty degree line. So draw the bottom portion of this cube for the sixty mm we taken in asymmetric line. Then you come into after completion of this bottom cube, you come into the cone. The cone bottom portion will be in the circle. We can use the four center method to draw this. Then you take the height of this apex point from the center. You need to join the tangent line. The remaining portion, whatever fully visible, we need to highlight or draw by hatch pieces. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.